What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Demon Slayer Season 4, Episodes 4 and 5. Check out that Patreon for early access, full length. Check out the Twitch if you guys want to watch these live with us before they even go on Patreon. Not going to waste any more time. Let's hop right on to it. Demon Slayer Season 4, Episode 4. Let's get it. All right, Episode 4, to bring a smile to one's face. I like that title. He is so fast. I'll try. No, I can't. I already give up. Hey, I love seeing him smile, you know, especially how much he did not like us at the beginning of season three. What in the bad bitch crow with the lashes is this? He's got himself a little girly girl, sassy. That's a good point. Your emotions betray you, especially in a fight. It's a good way of putting it. You essentially need to go undefeated against demons your entire life to make it to an old age. That one loss and is up for you. You, that's just him trust me that's just him <laughs> yeah you guys didn't see him last season i do like how tanjiro has positive effects lasting effects on these hashira whether it's tengen whether it's you whether it's Uichiro. oh talk about a little no oh hell no oh absolutely not light the whole place on fire bomb it nuke it all connected to like a nerve system a hive mind that all goes back to her the infinity castle girl interesting how she changes perspective and vision from the eyes with the, the sound of her uh you guys let me if you guys know what that's called let me know in the comments I mean, Tokito did take out one of the uppers. I love how he turns into mist. Oh my god. Crow. Jesus, they demolished this area. Mm. You don't know nothing about that boy. Good. I hope he shows Sanami and Obanai both up. You are about to go through some hell, but he is deathly scared. But if you're scared of a Hashira, I mean, what are you going to do against a demon? Who's even more OP than a Hashira, you know? Couldn't couldn't handle the pressure. Mm, that's a good way to look at it. You didn't emotionally attack, you thought about it and used logic. Sometimes the best you can do is not enough. W out of Muichiro. Oh, 
I like that time lapse. That looks crazy. I love how like giddy and and happy Muichiro is fighting with Tanjiro ever since last season, you know. Pass the Muichiro class. You're making steady. You're making steady progress, my man. Like how it's in the colors of his kimono too. He's trying to connect with every Hashira. Had a little eating contest with Giyu. A little paper airplane contest. <laughs> with <laughs> Muichiro. <laughs> w friend. And little do you know, this man probably is the perfect paper airplane. <laughs> I remember doing these in school back in the day, trying to see who can go further, you know? Damn. He made his very aerodynamic, you know? Shout out Muishiro. I wonder if, like you, Muishiro is going to let him win this time. Because like I said, Tanjiro has such good long-lasting effects on... Oh. And there it is. Okay. Getting a little courageous. If anyone can beat you once, Mushiro, got to talk a little gentler with him. Not only is the team morale a little higher, but we got them hoping for more and a little ambition, you know? <laughs> Andy Rose, that's the kind of positivity that you hope for, you know. Ah, everyone flew theirs. Kind of wholesome. Next thing you know, a demon just comes and kills them all. Muichiro, good man. Andy Rowe, good man, man. I strive to bring positivity and good energy to people's lives like Tanjiro does to everyone around him. Always wanted to go to one of those festivals where they let off like the Chinese lanterns, you know? Me too. Uh, I assumed it was Shinobu and Tamayo, but it's Uro Kadaki, the legend himself. Who watched her for a long time while we were gone, so... I love how every station we leave says the same sentiment, like, hey, all fun and games, but this shit's about to come to a climax soon. Let's get serious. All right, here we go. Got some bees on the next episode. Episode five, I believe. What's up, Mitsuri? Because Tanjiro grew up very not wealthy. I wonder if he's never had pancakes. He's never had pancakes. He's like, I barely know tea. I barely know bread. Ooh, he's going to love pancakes. Especially Japanese pancakes. So fluffy and light. Heavenly. <laughs> Mind-bogglingly yummy. Is she... <laughs> I like how Tanjiro's cool with it. What is this, a dancing class? I guess they do say fighting is a dance. House of the Dragons, Dance of the Dragons is what that battle's called, you know? The war. That's actually very true. As someone who took yoga for years in high school, flexibility is very important. Bro, my, my, my bag of marbles would rip apart. I like how this is the hardest training he's done so far compared to Tengen and Wichiro. Are we already done? We're already at uh, Obanai. 
I mean, she's a great girl. I love her. I know you like her too. I love how fast he gets the letter. He really does. Didn't he get her socks and shit too? He loves Mitsuri. Now Obanai uber hates Tanjiro. Yep. Oh no, here we go. What? I've never heard of such a drill. I didn't realize the target was between them, individual targets. But yeah, that is insane precision. That's crazy. And you're really worried about being precise because you don't want to hit your boys. I go nice and slow, you know? <laughs> yeah, do a couple... <laughs> I love how careful he is. Oh! But you're not only just fighting him, he's fighting you back. And you know he's precise as hell, so you better get precision quick, Tanjiro. I love how it really is so cramped. Ooh. This is actually super sadistic, but insanely creative training. Really would make you precise, you know. I didn't even think about how that, how can, yeah, that's crazy. Slither. I love the way he describes it. While they're untied, he's going to take every opportunity he can to train. They're like, damn, someone's working that hard so they don't discomfort me? A good dude, inspirational dude right here. You really do need to be precise. Ooh, I like how he's, he's picturing, he's doing mental imagery training. Picturing himself in a forest, you know. Ooh. Oh. Obanai is clean with it. I love how he like slithers when he attacks. You've succeeded his training. So what's next? Sonami? Looks like it's Sonami. Two people that hate him back to back. Or die. <laughs> this is going to be very awkward. He's still probably the last one to accept Nezuko and Tanjiro, you know? Good. Talk your shit. Good. I'll work under you, I'll train you, I'll respect you as a Hashira and all that you do and, and live for. But f you, Sonami. Fuck your shit. Like, cool. I don't accept you either. Jesus. Jesus. We do know Genya is Sonami's little brother. That's sad. Yeah, 
Hey man, he uses America breathing, bruh. And he's like partial demon, you know? Like Genya's a cool ass dude. <laughs> I love Tanjiro supporting him. That's the title of this episode. He's done unthinkable, unspeakable things, you know, to keep Because he like turns into a partial demon when he eats him, right? I mean, it'd probably be super... Oh, hell no. That's so f***ed up. Great save. You're about to blind this man? <laughs> Lie down for it. Everyone does it. I do like Tanjiro standing up for Genya. That's how heavy he's stomping, bro. He's that mad. The wood just crackling and creaking under him. Good point. You gotta respect that. Talk your shit, Tanjiro. Facts. He caught that? <laughs> That's insane. With the twist into a kick! I love Tanjiro so much. Look at his face. Great dodge. <laughs> Zenitsu's like, when Tanjiro tells me something, I listen. W little brother. Right? We're on your side, but hey. What's suspended? Damn. Hey, I do respect you standing up for for Genya. One day. One day. I get like huge Deku Todoroki Endeavor vibes, you know. You don't want to butt into their family matters, but you need to when you need to, you know. I love this shot. Beautiful cinematography. Was that all the guys just sitting? Yep, on uh, no I can't bend my wrist too much because it's still broken. But whoa! This dude's intense. Oh, I'm, I'm loving this season, man. I know people are hating on this, but I'm loving this. I've been told how small this arc is chapter-wise and page-wise in the manga, and I've been told they've stretched it out a very bit, a long, a lot, to get it to this size and this length for an entire season. But uh, they've done a great job. Like, I don't feel like it's been filled with too much side questy feeling kind of stuff. And when I say side questy, that could even be good. I love me some side questing, you know? I would say the closest to that kind of feeling is like the whole paper airplane thing. But even that relates to like the Giyu food eating contest. It just goes to show that Tanjiro as a character goes out of his way and makes like a fun kind of compromise to make everyone. He's such a good compromising, make everyone kind of happy person. If he has to give up half his food so everyone else can get the other half and make everyone happy, he'd do it in a heartbreak, heartbeat. And I love him for that. Um, I hope one day the shit... How do I pronounce her last name? The brothers, Genya and Sonami. I hope they can get together and, and reconcile one day. I love seeing Mitsuri, Obanai, his training. I thoroughly enjoyed how creative that was. I'm enjoying this a lot. The music, animation, the fights, characters, the development, the training. I'm sure we're going to be top notch after this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. Check out the Patreon for early access full uncut versions check out the twitch for to watch these live with us before they even go on patreon Remember, we're gonna drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out